I'm the stage director for Ghosts of Versailles. I'm Eric Malier. I'm the conductor for Ghosts of Versailles. So in Ghosts of Versailles, we have an opera within an opera. And the opera within the opera is based on the third play of the Figaro trilogy of Beaumarchais, which is The Guilty Mother, um, which takes place 20 years after the marriage of Figaro ended. We borrow characters and some basic plot points from The Guilty Mother, but the tone of the opera within the opera has much more to do, I think, with Mozart's Marriage of Figaro. Ghost of Versailles can look a little tricky on the surface, but really you need to break it down into the two different worlds. There's the world of the ghosts, which is um, predominantly occupied by Beaumarchais and Marie Antoinette, and you need to track their storyline mostly, and then the opera within the opera fits into that and serves that plot line. One of the joys of working on Ghost of Versailles is actually being able to consult the composer, John Cordiano. I have to say, there's nothing like being able to sit down and ask, okay, what exactly did you mean by this figure? What did you mean by, by this uh, measure? And what do you want to happen in this moment? It's been incredible working with Wilson Chin, who is the scenic designer for both this production and also Marriage of Figaro. Um, he has been so clever about the way he is tying the two pieces together. So we use some of the bones of the set of Marriage of Figaro, but we change them and we are destroying some of them for our production and finding something that is sort of set within the same framework while looking really different. I'm very happy to be coming back here to Wolf Trap. This certainly feels like my summer home. I spent eight <laughs> seasons here doing everything, uh, from starting as a, um, a fellow pianist, uh, eventually taking over more uh, responsibilities each, each summer. Uh, so to come back here is just so wonderful because I know exactly what the company is about, what the goals are, what the level of the singers are, what, how the studio fits into that whole picture, um, and sort of what the mission of putting things up on stage uh, fulfills. So I, it's, it's just such a, a great joy to be back here. It's incredible to be back here. I think because when I first came, and I was just starting out, this was one of my very first professional experiences, really, and I thought Wolf Trap was a really special place. I thought that the atmosphere here was something extraordinary and that the level of the singers was so amazing and just the overall sense of support and community that are here. And it's incredible now, I think, having gone away and worked a lot of different places to come back and realize that it is just as extraordinary as I thought it was when I didn't know any better. For me, the central theme of this piece and the thing that, is, that I'm really trying to track through is the power, the transcendent power of live performance to change the people in the audience and that the audience members leave the theater different than they came in. You owe me money, sir. You think you stole my car. 